everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here in this video. We are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. So here, the given equation is dy by dx equals to sin x minus sin y into cos x by cos y, which is not in Bernoulli's or linear or any of the forms which we have discussed earlier, right? So what we'll do here, we'll just reduce this equation to linear form. Solution. Given differential equation dy by dx equals to sin x minus sin y into cos x by cos y. You can write this as dy by dx equals to sin x minus sin y into cos x by cos y, right? Now, bring this cos y to LHS, you'll get cos y into dy by dx equals to sin x minus sin y into cos x. Now multiply these two terms with cos x, then you'll get cos y into dy by dx equals to sin x cos y minus sin y cos x. So if you notice, in the first term of RHS, you're having functions of x, but in the second term, you're having function of y and function of x. So what we'll do is, we'll just take this function of y and function of x to LHS. Then you'll get cos y into dy by dx equals to, okay, this term plus sine y cos x equals to sin x into cos y. You may get doubt why we are taking this term only to LHS part because here you are having function of y also. If you notice in the linear equation in y you have dy by dx plus p into y equals to q where p and q are either functions of x alone or constant. But in the RHS part we will get either function of x alone or a constant. For that purpose we will leave the function of x in RHS part and we'll take the function of x that is the term involving function of x to LHS right for our convenience okay now now let's write the second term as function of x into function of y and let's take, now we are going to make substitution. So let sin y equals to some u. Now differentiate it with respect to x. So here we are going to use chain rule. Derivative of u with respect to x equals to du by, here you are having a function of x, right? So it involves differential dy in between. Then, now, you need to find differentiate derivative of u with respect to y. Since you are having y equals to sine y, differentiate on both sides with respect to y. Then, du by dy equals to derivative of sine y with respect to y is cos y. If you replace derivative of u with respect to y with this cos y, then you'll get derivative of u with respect to x equals to cos y into derivative of y with respect to x or dy by dx. So, when u equals to sine y, then du by dx equals to cos y into dy by dx or when 
sin y equals to u. Then cos y into dy by dx equals to du by dx. Now we'll write the above equation in terms of u and x by substituting first term. We'll replace first term by du by dx and sin y by u. Then the above equation becomes du by dx plus cos x into u equals to sin x into cos x, which is linear in u and x. We know that the standard form of linear equation in u and x is du by dx plus p into u equals to q, where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants. And the integrating factor is given by y integral p dx and the general solution is given by u into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor plus c. So now integrating factor into dx, okay, plus c. Now we can say that we have reduced the given equation in linear form, right? Now again by comparing these two, we'll get p and q. P equals to, where P equals to cos x and Q equals to sin x into cos x. If you notice, here you are having P and Q, right, which involves only x and it does not have any other variable other than x. So, we call P and Q as functions of x alone. Now, We'll find the general solution to the given equation using this formula that is general solution formula of the reduced equation. So before going to general solution, we need to find the integrating factor. So let's find integrating factor now. We know that integrating factor is given by y integral p dx or p equals to cos x into dx. We know that integral cos x dx is sin x. So e power sin x is our integrating factor. Now we can find general solution. The general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Okay, so now let sin x equals to some t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get cos x equals to d d y dx from this you'll get cos x dx equals to dt. Okay, now we'll write the integrand and the differential dx in terms of x. So let's see. Firstly, let's write terms involving sin x or functions involving sin x firstly and then cos x into dx plus c. Now let's, uh, let's replace sin x by t, you'll get t e power t. Replace cos x dx by dt plus c. We know that x into e power x dx equals to e power x into x minus 1 plus into the constant c. Okay. If you remember the formula well and good, otherwise you can just evaluate it using integration by parts formula. 
we are having u into e power sin x equals to t equal t e power t dt plus c, right? Let's evaluate x e power x dx. Simply, we are evaluating in terms of x, not t. Okay. So here we are going to use integration by parts. Integral u dv equals to uv minus integral v du. Here we are having the integrand is of the form product of polynomial function to exponential function. So let's choose the polynomial function as u and the remaining part as dv. Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. You'll get derivative of u with respect to x equals to derivative of x with respect to x1 from this we will get du equals to dx and here integrate to find v integral dv equals to v equals to e power integral e power x dx is e power x now we can substitute in this formula integral u for u equals to x into dv for dv equals to e power x dx equals to u into v for u equals to x into v for v equals to e power x minus integral v for v equals to e power x into differential du equals to dx this equals to x e power x minus integral e power x dx is e power x plus integral constant c this is equals to you can take e power x common from the first two terms you will get e power x times x minus 1 plus c so you will get the same thing Now just replace x by t, then you will get integral, this is integral, okay, integral t into e power t dt equals to e power t into x minus 1 plus integral constant c, then the above equation becomes u e power sin x equals to integral t e power t dt is e power t into t minus 1 plus integral constant c. Now replace t since t equals to sin x so replace t by sin x then you will get e power sin x into sin x minus 1 plus c and also you can replace u since u equals to sin y then you will get sin y into e power sin x equals to e power sin x into sin x minus 1 plus c. So now we are having sin y into e power sin x equals to e power sin x into sin x minus 1 plus c, right? We can solve this in two forms. Firstly, you can take this e power sin x to RHS or you can bring this term to LHS and you can find the general solution. Okay. Let's see what happens if we take this term to RHS then we will get sin y equals to e power sin x into sin x minus 1 plus c by e power sin x. Since you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we can express the total expression into two terms and you get e power sin x into sin x minus 1 by e power sin x plus c by e power sin x. So here e power sin x gets cancelled and you will get sin x minus 1 plus you can split this as c into 1 by e power sin x which is equals to 
sin x minus 1 plus c into reciprocal of e power sin x is e power minus sin x. Then we we'll get sin y plus 2. Okay. Or we can just leave like this. That is e power sin x into sin y equals to e power sin x into sin x minus 1 plus c will be the general solution or bring this term to LHS we get sin y into e power sin x minus e power sin x into sin x minus 1 plus sorry equals to c you notice you are having e power sin x in both the terms of LHS. So let's take e power sin x common from the two terms of LHS. You'll get e power sin x into sin y minus of sin x minus 1 equals to c. Then e power sin x into sin y minus sin x minus into minus plus 1 equals to c. Which is a required solution. So we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.